car today. This is a 1972 Eagle. This is Amber's bus. This is Amber. What's going on? <laughs> so tell us about yes. your bus. What's your plans? So my plan, so I'm an artist, so I'm a music artist. I do music production, songwriting, home recording. And originally I wanted to have a bus that I can turn into a home, but also a place where I could teach music production, songwriting, home recording all over the country. And so that was, that's been my dream since I was like 18 years old. So when I was 23, I ended up getting the bus and I bought it on Craigslist actually, like it was crazy. Within two months, so I built my credit and all this other stuff and I bought it in the middle of nowhere in Texas and my uncle drove it home. Like they were looking at me crazy when I pulled up and was like, yeah, I want to buy this bus. They are like, what? What is this kid doing? So uh, I didn't even realize it was like a legendary music bus. And eventually I saw videos or pictures with Selena coming out of a bus like that, Michael Jackson, and just a lot of cool people. So I've been working on this for the past five years. Um, I have had really bad mechanics <laughs> basically like I've had a mechanic steal my my batteries out of the the bus I've had one like the fuel pump that I was showing you they pulled the the tubing apart and they were like oh we're gonna help you fix it um, just make sure you don't turn it on and then we're gonna come back and fix it and me and my mom turned it on and we saw all kind of gas flying around and I went back there because I'm always like studying my bus and I just put it back together and like uh, tightened it and it worked perfectly again so I was just like this is crazy so I'm trying to finally get this done and I'm super happy that you're here because <laughs> I've been struggling <laughs> awesome so yeah okay so the first problem and she knows that when she bought it they told they told her the fuel pump was bad so the fuel pump is back in here um, they've added this auxiliary electric fuel pump which I don't think that's ever gonna do it I mean, it, it, it would run with it, but uh, it's just, I don't think that's powerful enough. So we really need to get back to the original system that's designed on here. So we're gonna take the original fuel pump off. I, I questioned, was the fuel pump really bad or not? But it definitely is now because it's been disconnected with no fuel going through it for however long it's been running. So we're gonna have to pull that fuel pump off, see about getting a new one. They've disconnected the secondary filter. All the original lines are still here, but they've ran some new ones in like this line here is basically hitting the the shaft here so we got to be careful of that um, so what we're going to do is go through we're going to see there's fuel in the filter right now if it's losing prime or not because if it's not primed it's never going to run uh, and then we'll have to drain the coolant system to get down to be able to take that fuel pump off you have to remove that crossover to get to it's just too hard to not do it um, there's a little problem with the air filter she's missing the air filter the end of the housing here if anybody has that reach out to us and we'll see if we can hook her up with that. She needs that part to seal that up on there. Okay, let's take that fuel filter off. This eagle has some rot that needs to be addressed. This is, uh, this is what happens to eagles. See how that's rusting away there. This is completely gone here. The torch elastic has ruptured in here. The mount for the torch elastic is getting pretty crusty. Inside's better. That's rusted out. Just getting some rust back in there. See a little remnant of it. Let me 
mechanic had these batteries on charger. I just hooked them up and they're 10 3. That's not going to happen. So she had another mechanic borrow her batteries. He you said, said they were on the charger, but those aren't her batteries. So I just brought these over. And they're at 11 9, so it's better than what we had. So we're going to throw them on the charger here for a little bit. So they're coming up. 12 4 now. Thanks. Well, they're going to have the volts. We don't know if they'll have the amps. Yeah. Okay, so she had a stuck throttle. So we went through and looped up every linkage on there. We pulled up the center floor. Uh, there's a couple grease fittings in there. And then any of the little pivot points we lubed up with some oil if they didn't have a grease fitting. Um, and we now have her throttle pedal working again. It didn't even move at all before up front. I could move the linkages back here, but they wouldn't move up front. Um, so after about a half hour, we got everything all lubed up and we're gonna have to climb up under the driver's seat for some of it and then uh, pull the center section, aisle section out and work our way all the way to the back. Test the starter here. Nope. Okay, so it started six months ago. It ran six months ago? Okay. <laughs> you got it in neutral, right? It's in neutral. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to turn it over if it wasn't. Watch out, watch out. Be down. Feel those battery cables and see if they feel hot. So she's had a problem when she turns the battery switch to off. So it's on right now. When she turns the switch to off, it's still draining the batteries. So if I flip the switch to off, this side here.
was an exciting day. I uh, thought I asked all the right questions. Um, I'm like, has it, has it, when's the last time it started? And she says, it's been six months since it ran. So I was like, you know, I'm not really worried about an stuck injector or anything because it's, you know, six months, that's not, that's not really gonna happen. So we're fine, no problem there, thank you. Um, after it's all done, she then tells me that, yeah, the last time we started it, it did that where, the, where it raced really fast like that. She just thought it was the, the stuck throttle pedal, which is what we had been freeing up all day. But um, yeah, that's not how that works because the throttle pedal was actually stuck in the off position and then we got it to, it, it's working perfectly now. So it's not a stuck throttle, but she just assumed because the throttle pedal was stuck and didn't work, that that's why it did that the last time they started it. But no, that's, it, it has stuck injectors in it. So as it started and then took off, the, if you see, the first thing you saw me do was I yanked. So that has the, uh, there's no mechanical fuel pump on there at all. The, the entire fuel pump is done by an um, a electric pump. So I pulled the, the lead on that fuel pump so that it wouldn't uh, continue to add fuel to it. And as soon as I did that, then the idle, it dropped down to almost an idle. It was just running on whatever fuel was still in the, in the fuel line right there. Um, and then I was able to shut it, I, you know, I went inside and shut it down. So I, I even cracked the, the fuel filter on it too, uh, so it would suck some air. So we're probably gonna have to reprime it tomorrow, but I'm, I'm not concerned about that either. Um, but I, I gotta pull the injector, or pull the valve covers off tomorrow, get up in there and figure out which injectors are stuck and what's going on. Um, but that was uh, a hell of an exciting uh, 15 seconds of my life again. Uh, from start to, oh my God. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think it would run that long not having a fuel pump sending fuel to it. Uh, and then her other complaint after talking to her is that once it does start, after like a minute or two, it just shuts off. Um, so she thought it was something with the fuel pump, but I'm like, no, what it is is building up air pressure and then whatever it is is signaling that shutdown on the governor to, to, to turn it off. Um, I'm guessing it has the spring-loaded racks in there and it's got more than one uh, injector stuck. That's gonna be my guess that I'm gonna go with, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow when I pull it off. Um, but clearly the, the throttle and idles, you know, uh, it should have not went from zero to 100 in, in two seconds there. Uh, it wasn't, definitely wasn't prepared for that. Um, uh, again, I thought I asked all the right questions, but apparently I didn't. Uh, so tomorrow will be a, a fun morning too. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes.